Terrell Parker. Mary elect Terrell Parker. I started out on this campaign trail and I tried to follow the script. A lot of campaign experts. <sighs> they went and fucking elected a black woman mayor. They went and elected a black woman mayor. They're in the midst of their deadliest crime wave. The roads are unsafe. You can't even fucking, I mean, junkies nodding off all over the fucking city in broad daylight shooting up. A hundred kids getting shot every fucking year. And they went and elected a sister to be mayor. Unbelievable. Thought that they would tell us the best way that we should walk, talk, and act to win an election and get votes. For those of you who- Who, who, who told you the best way to walk, talk, and act to win an election and get vote? White people? White people told you you got to use proper English and shit. I mean, what what is she talking about? What the fuck is she talking about? Aren't you a, the mayor? Shouldn't what the fuck are you talking about? The best way that we should walk, talk, and act to win an election and get votes. For those of you who know me. It just didn't feel right. And so I got on the trail and I began to talk about out loud. I didn't hide from it because I wouldn't allow anybody else to attempt to weaponize my humble beginnings against me. So before they could do it, I made sure that I told you that I was born to a single teenage mother, that I was raised by my grandparents, that my grandmother collected welfare and subsidized food to take care of me. <laughs> this ain't going to turn out well. This is not going to turn out well. I made sure that I told you that I was born to a single teenage mother, that I was raised by my grandparents, that my grandmother collected welfare and subsidized food to take care of me. I said it out loud because I needed people to know that my real life lived experience was closest to the people who are feeling the most pain right now in our city. And my message to Philadelphians from all walks of life was that if they would just give me the opportunity that I would put to great use everything inside of me, my lived life experience, my professional experience, my academic preparation, that I would put all of it to great use to work with you all to make Philadelphia the safest, cleanest, greenest big city in the nation with economic opportunity for all. Who is Sherelle Parker going to be? A get it done Philadelphian, a get it done mayor who won't ever forget her deep roots. And she's proud of the fact 
And I'm speaking to my swears that report. I'm speaking to my. She hasn't mentioned one thing policy wise. One thing. All she's talking about is fucking welfare. I'm from the hood. I'm from around the way. I know what it's like. The struggle. I grew up on cookies and grape drink. And listen, man, you know what? She doesn't even have to talk policy because that's her policy. So you know what her policies are going to be like. That place is going to shit. Get it done, Mayor, who won't ever forget her deep roots. And she's proud of the fact, and I'm speaking to my, where's that report? I'm speaking to myself in third person right now, and I hope it irritates you somewhere. I'm Philly born, I'm Philly bred, and I'll be a Philadelphian till I'm dead. I love you, Philly. We're going to do this together. Democrat Sherelle Parker has defeated Republican David O. That means she will be the first ever woman. She beat the fucking tiger, man. I thought that I really, I was, I would have voted for that tiger if I lived in Philly, man. That tiger was, that tiger was, was going to be tough on, he ran a tough on crime campaign. He ran a, um, you know, Republican campaign. He ran, we going to clean up this city. You know what I'm saying? We're going to fucking lock these fucking degenerates up and throw away the key. And she ran on, they could be my sons. Terrell Parker has defeated Republican David O. That means she will be the first ever woman to take the office of mayor in the city of Philadelphia. Tuesday night, I'm Shari Williams alongside Gray Hall. The big story on... Yeah, she's going to make Philly green. <laughs> I mean, like, are, are you serious? You going to make Philly green? Philly streets don't even have a fuck enough room for bike lanes. Press one. There's not even room for bike lanes. The streets are so narrow in Philly, there's no room to put bike lanes there. The fucking river there, this with the Schuylkill River, it's like a fucking sewer you will make philly green yeah right everything that we do you can't see on social media before we walked in langston you want to tell everybody who you just talked to you know <laughs> it's okay we just talked to President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris. Oh, God, Jesus Christ. Now I see why he didn't want to say anything. Joe Biden probably said some creepy shit to him. Joe Biden probably invited him over for a sleepover. Like, yo, the fuck? Langston? You want to tell everybody who you just talked to? You know? It's okay. We just talked to President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris. We just told them that this is an election the people have chosen, and Lord knows I'm proud. But Philadelphia cannot be successful without an immense amount of support from the White House and our Congress. We need the support. Both of them said that they are prepared and they are ready. We were with our governor. We have our speaker, Joanna McClinton. Speaker McClinton, can you raise your hand? Somebody just mentioned to me that our appropriations chairman, uh, Jordan Harris, he was. Damn, everybody black. Man. I need some white folk. 
we need some we need some old burritos, some white folks, some tigers, man. We need to shake this thing up, man. This thing is too black, man. I ain't even gonna make no bones about it. It's too many black people in, in charge of this shit, man. It's too many black people in power, man. Fuck this shit, man. This shit, this is gonna be the fucking BT awards of fucking of fucking government and shit. Yo, this is terrifying. He, Jordan, Jordan Harris, can you right? So I just want you to understand. Can we at least get some light skin niggas? All right, we got one light skin nigga here. God damn, break it up a little bit, man. Our appropriation, this I call them the boss with the hot sauce, Vincent Hughes. Raise your hand, Senator Hughes. The boss with the hot sauce. <sighs> Salute the scandal, man. He says Philly is doomed. Yeah, it's a wrap. I don't know if they can recover from this, man. I don't they may have been able to get away with this electing their first black woman mayor, like maybe in 2010 or some shit. 2015. But now, like Nah, man, the ship is sinking, man. You don't fucking hire a sister to come stop the ship from sinking. You hire her to come and get the ship to start sinking. And then you can hire somebody else to fix what she fucked up. You don't hire her while the ship is sinking. The fuck? It's so great to see each of you, but it is my hope tonight that by working together and working to put people on the path to self-sufficiency, we remove any explanation that anyone can give about why they can't succeed. We want to make access to home ownership affordable for Philadelphians. Well, at least that won't have a... Philly's already fucked up. Sons are everywhere. Violence and crime is everywhere. So more affordable housing won't do, won't harm Philly as it would a safer city. Philly's already fucked in the ass. So more affordable housing will just it's neg the effect of more affordable housing is negligible. Right? We don't want people house poor spending more than 30% of their income on rent. We want all of our children in a 21st century modern school building with the highest academic achievement. If any So they're going to spend more money on schools. That's what she wants to do. And guess what? They're going to have the same test scores, the same amount of violence in the school, the same amount of teachers fucking retiring and getting assaulted. The same amount of every fucking thing the only thing difference is the fucking school's gonna fucking cost the taxpayers millions of dollars the building salute to the freshman man he says this is not going to end well if they had some competent gliders but they have they have been a part time well the last mayor kenny he was a um he was a glider and um, but he was woke, super duper woke. So I mean, it's not even even a woke glider would be better than the sister. Anybody is interested in talking to me about public education, and you're trying to pit traditional publics against charters again? Don't do it. I'm not the person to have that conversation with. We are going to find a way to move educational opportunities for our young people forward. And I'm a certified secondary English teacher by profession, but we're going to do it for all of our uh, children. Finally, the biggest part for me. I talked about year-round public education. Immediately when I said it, the naysayers said, well, what are you going to do? Keep children in classrooms all day long without air and no heating. I just thought to myself, wow. 
how narrow-minded. Access to year-round education is what Senator Hughes was talking about when he called it the summer slide. Do you remember you had those conversations? I'm sorry to tell you today, but not all of the young people in the school district of Philadelphia are in the Hamptons in the summer or at the vineyard. Maybe you thought they were there, but they are not. But for those who are being raised, particularly in circumstances like mine, particularly when they're being raised by someone other than their biological parent, they can benefit from creative year-round scheduling. They could benefit from going to school in the morning and having it open until 6.30 in the evening. And after the traditional school day finishes, how about they get access to some coding, some financial uh, literacy? How about access to just skill building? I'm getting ready to tell you the, the big one for me, homework, help, and tutoring. Have you seen the math today? Hey, I'm, I, the, the tutoring part, I like it. I, I, I think the tutoring part, I, I like it. We'll see, man. We'll see. The only problem is, will the kids come? I'll give her that. The tutoring and then the school being open at 6, the babysit the kids, keep them off the street. So that's really what she means. School is open till six. Keep those fuckers off the street from killing each other. Hey. Right? What about the parents who can't afford to hire a tutor or get homework help? Should those young people have to suffer? Or should we put those opportunities in schools throughout the school district of Philadelphia and say, you can have breakfast, lunch, and even dinner while you're there. The homework's gonna be done. I want you to think like a teacher, teaching a lesson plan for the week. And I want you to know the teacher's giving instruction during the day, and then I want you to imagine the teacher knowing that somebody was reinforcing what they just taught during the day in the evening and helping young people get their homework done. That is tangible. That is how you get access to economic opportunity. Safer, cleaner, greener with economic opportunity for all. Quality of life issues, the commercial quarters, the cleaning, sanitation, we're coming. We're coming, sanitation. 